Dear students, in this module we will see how to determine the two prime structures or even the three prime structures of an RNA molecule. As you know, the RNA molecule has three types of structures. The one prime structure, the two prime structure and the three prime structure. The one prime structure of the RNA is essentially its nucleotide sequence. As you know, RNA is transcribed from the DNA, so you can easily assemble the one prime structure of the RNA molecule. However, once this, this entire one prime structure is formed, it folds onto itself in order to take the shape of two prime structure. So the two prime structure essentially comprises of the hairpin loops, the uh, intersections, bulges, etc. Once the two prime structure is formed, the three prime structure comes into being as a result of interaction between the two prime hairpins, bulges, etc. How can we determine the two prime structure or the three prime structure? So that is the question for today. There are several experimental protocols that have been designed to study the two prime structure of RNA molecules. We're going to take a look at three of them today. They include the X-ray crystallography, the atomic force microscopy, and the nuclear magnetic, magnetic resonance imaging. So the first one is the X-ray crystallography. In X-ray crystallography, we crystallize the RNA sample, and then we shine X-rays onto that sample, and the molecules the RNA molecules, they diffract these X-rays according to the size of their atomic weights. We measure these diffractions and we try to reverse engineer the structure of the RNA. However, there is a catch here that the RNA needs to be crystallized. But as you know, RNA is a very fragile molecule and is readily degradable. So sometimes it is a little bit difficult to crystallize a specific RNA. So towards that, we have other strategies that can be employed to measure the structure, the two prime or the three prime structure. The second one includes the atomic force microscopy. In the atomic force microscopy, we place the RNA sample and we scan it with a piezoelectric substance and shine a laser on it and we see the movement of this laser and then we measure what is the structure of the RNA sample. This is a very useful technique because it does not require the crystallization of the RNA molecule that was required for the X-ray crystallography. It, it works really well on fluids as well as room temperature. So if you have an RNA sample, you can simply freeze it, you can put it on ice, and you can have atomic force microscopy to measure its structure. A schematic of this process is given here for you. Uh, as you can see, a laser can be shined onto a piezoelectric substance, which in this case is Si3N4, and the reflection of that is detected, which is reflective of the structure of the sample, and then we can measure the two prime structure or even the three prime structure. Besides the atomic force microscopy, there is another technique that is the nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. In this technique, the hydrogen nuclei within the RNA molecule, once the molecule is placed within a very high magnetic field, the hydrogen nuclei, they resonate, and we can measure this resonance and try to look at, try to estimate the two prime or the three prime structure. Of course, NMR is a little bit expensive, and therefore, we need to use it selectively. Importantly, the crystallization is not required as well in this case. So, dear students, once you have these two prime or the three prime data structures from the experimental protocols, you need to store them somewhere and there are these RNA structure databases that are doing this for you. So, if you want to uh, if you want to find out the structure of some specific RNA, then you can simply go to these online databases and try to search for your RNA molecule. These online databases include the RNA BRICS and the RMDB, etc. 
So these databases are ready, readily available for your reference. And therefore, it's very easy for you. If you have an RNA, you can go and look them up.